beginning as usual by settling our bodies in our meditation posture. So our legs are crossed either in full lotus or half lotus position or just regular cross-legged. Just making sure our knees are below our hips, not rising above our hips. So if that means adding one more cushion, feel free to do that. Sitting on the edge of our cushion, allowing our back to naturally straighten up. and relaxing our shoulders, elongating the back of the neck by tilting it downwards about 45 degrees. And your gaze can be about two meters on the floor in front of you. Eyes just cracked open to let some light in. Keep our alertness. Or if you feel that's too distracting, you can keep them shut. Our hands are resting in our lap, either in the Dhyan Mudra with the right hand inside the left hand and thumbs touching in the shape of a teardrop. Or palms resting on your knees, face up or face down. Just making sure to have your elbows a little bit away from the body to let some air through. Again, to help maintain alertness. Now, most importantly, we relax our face. The tension between our eyebrows, clenched in our jaws, our cheeks. You can even put a little smile on your face and feel all those muscles just relax on their own. Finally, our tongue is resting on the upper palate, just behind that upper row of teeth to help prevent saliva from forming and having to swallow constantly. So take a moment to just quickly scan your body and ensure a relaxed yet strong and stable posture. One that you feel you could keep sitting in for a long time without having to move. And once you have relaxed into this posture, let's gently shift our attention to our object of meditation, the sensation of our breath. You can watch it at your abdomen as it rises and falls. 
or you can feel the sensations of your breath at the very tip of your nose. Rest your attention very lightly on this point that you choose. Watch it like an observer. Just by nature of returning our attention to the breath, allow other thoughts and distractions, sounds, to simply dissolve into your mind. Let them fall away on their own.
you find yourself being too hard on yourself or getting distracted, change that to rejoicing each time you notice yourself wandering from the breath. Rejoice that you've noticed it. And then very gently bring your attention back to the breath. Again and again and again. So I will give uh, people on Zoom a moment to drop if they would like um, to keep meditating. Otherwise, for the rest, we have a space. Um, if people have any questions that have come up in the past week of practice about um, 
your meditation practice, about shamatha, posture, sitting, anything related to your meditation practice. On Zoom, you can feel free to put in the chat also if you don't feel like talking. Are you um, able to Any questions? Troubles you've run into obstacles in your practice. Okay, let's briefly dedicate for our for today's or the week of practice. Dedicating to all those who may not have the time or the opportunity, even the physical ability to practice. Those who have not met the Dharma in this life know nothing about meditation. In the Mahayana tradition, we practice carrying them also along with us on the path. All beings, humans, animals, We also dedicate to have ourselves having met the Dharma in this lifetime and to continue meeting the Dharma lifetime after lifetime, continue practicing. And to the long lives of our teachers, Kabirji, His Holiness the Dai Lama, Lama Zupur Rinpoche, Keshe Dorje Damdula, May all their holy wishes be fulfilled. And just to add on from Yesterday's meditation, meditation, we can also rejoice in those <coughs> excuse me, who do have a chance to meditate and who do practice ourselves and all the other people here in this room, we can rejoice that we are here practicing. Thank you.
So we have a question in the chat um, that I'll also briefly address. Um, I'm a beginner and I want to learn meditation to cure my health issues. It's my first class. I'm suffering from breathing issue and allergies. Yeah, so if you suffer from a breathing issue, um, watching your breath may be a little bit too difficult. I would say something like starting with uh, exercise like pranayam, where you are actually working with your breath. This is more resting our attention on the flow of our breath. But if you, uh, you know, are having allergies or you feel uh, difficulty in breathing, if that's difficult, if that's troubling for you, then this meditation may also be a little bit um, frustrating or not productive. So I would suggest some. I don't know anything about what you are going through, what your uh, physical issues are, but just uh, my first thought is something like pranayam, where you are working with your breath to uh, regulate it again. So I would suggest looking up uh, maybe a yoga instructor, a pranayam instructor, and doing some pranayam exercises every morning. That may help you, but unfortunately I can't. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. I can't give you more advice than that. Um, and yeah, of course, but if you're, uh, if it is comfortable to sit and breathe and watch your breath as we did today, then of course you can definitely um, continue this practice as well. Maybe starting with the pranayam uh, and then moving to this practice. So yeah, I hope that helps. And um, you were having an issue with posture last time, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, so just to share, um, because we don't do any like discussion here, we just go into the um, the meditation uh, with the posture. You want to have a posture that you feel comfortable sitting in for some periods of time. And uh, it will take some time to get used to sitting like this because we do not typically sit with our back straight. We sit with our back hunched over. We um, don't typically sit cross-legged like this on the floor. Um, or on the edge of a meditation cushion. So it does take some time for the body to adapt and adjust. Um, and as it does, you will notice the posture starts to feel more and more comfortable. You can sit longer without feeling pain or having to adjust. Um, so start with a posture that even if it pushes you a little bit, even if it feels a little bit painful, that's okay. You can still sit in it and allow your body to get used to it. Say you're sitting in cross-legged, you can try one foot over the other in a half lotus position um, and try to push your body to get used to it slowly, slowly. And as you feel pain in the meditation, just watch it with maybe 10% of your attention, let it sit. Try not to engage with it too much. Um, you had a question last time about your posture. Did you figure out a little bit of... Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's great. Do you have any other questions about it or your address? Okay, great. Okay, thank you everyone. Um, see you all on Monday. And we also have a teaching, a really wonderful teaching this evening on Zoom uh, 
with an American man named Venerable Sanya Kondro. She wrote the book, she's Kathleen McDonald, that's her um, non-Tibetan name. She wrote the book, How to Meditate, and we will do a short guided meditation with her also. So that should be really, really um, good. So hopefully I'll see you there. And if not, what time, in, what time, time in the evening? 7.30 p.m. this evening on Zoom. The details are in the WhatsApp group. The link All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.